Hey guys, what's up? Recently Apple released iOS 16.0.3 and surprisingly, this version is compatible with the Pangu jailbreak. As you can see here, I am able to install and access Cydia on my iOS 16.0.3 device. At the end of this video, I will also show you how to install cool tweaks and themes using Cydia. This method is 100% secure and working great even with the latest iPhone 14 lineups. You will get untethered Cydia meaning the Cydia will work even after rebooting your iDevice. So you won't need to re-jailbreak it again and again. So, without any further delay, let's get right into the method. Let me show you the current version of iOS installed on my iPhone. Alright guys, as you can see, it's the latest iOS 16.0.3. Now let's proceed to jailbreak this iDevice. Before jailbreak, you need to first go to find my app, then go to me tab and turn off this option, which is share my location. Now open up Safari browser and then go to this website, iOSpangu.com. Make sure you visit the correct link. I will add this link in the first comment below. So, this is how the website looks like. What you need to do is click on this download button right here. Now, there is a social locker. To be able to proceed to next step, you need to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this website on Facebook or Twitter. It's all up to you. I will demonstrate how to do YouTube subscribe here. So, click on this YouTube icon and you will be redirected to a YouTube channel. First, click on this subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification on to all. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and, you should see the download button has been unlocked. The website will then ask you to install Pango configuration profile. So click on allow button. Then go to home page. Now you have to open up your iPhone settings app. Here, you should see an option named profile downloaded, right below your profile name. Choose this option and then click on install button. Now enter your passcode. Then click on next and choose install again. Alright, the Pango configuration profile has been installed. Go ahead and open it up. Here, it will show you the current iOS version running on my phone. Finally click on this jailbreak button. Alright guys, Pango has begun the jailbreaking process and it should take around 2 to 3 minutes to complete the process. So, I am going to just fast forward this part. Alright guys, the jailbreak has been completed and all we need to do now is just get the Cydia installed. We will be sideloading the Cydia as it is an unofficial iOS app, you know, the kind of apps that Apple doesn't allow on its app store. So, the Cydia needs to be bundled with any other apps approved on the app store. The apps you can see here are officially approved and are bundled with Cydia. All you need to do now is just download and install any of the two apps, then follow the given instructions to sideload the Cydia. So go ahead and choose any of the app here and read the instructions on how to unlock it and sideload the Cydia. It says that I have to install this game and play it for a while. This won't take much time. By the time this app installs, I will go ahead and install one more app. Once both the apps are installed, open them one by one and follow the previously mentioned instructions. Make sure you follow the instructions correctly so that the Cydia app can be extracted properly from it. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and wait for the Cydia to be installed. As you can see, it's giving me option to install Cydia now. So just go ahead and choose the option to install Cydia. Then go back to home screen and you will see Cydia being installed on your device. And it has been installed successfully. That's all guys, this is how you can easily jailbreak iOS 16.0.3 and install Cydia. You can proceed to install iOS 16 compatible tweaks with Cydia now. Please note that not all tweaks are yet compatible with iOS 16. But as the jailbreak has been finally arrived on iOS 16, you should soon see a lot of compatible tweaks in Cydia. Let me go ahead and install one of the tweaks to demonstrate the process. Let's change the font of my iPhone. For this, go to search tab and search for this tweak, which is a font. Make sure you type the tweak name correctly, which is a hyphen font. Once the download process is completed, click on this option to respring your device. That's it. As you can see, the font on my iPhone has been changed now. You can change the font style you want from settings. Let me install one more tweak, which is Rofi. 
Rofi is an app launcher tweak. It's simple, easy to use, and accessible from everywhere. Almost every aspect about Rofi is customizable, and there's no limitation to how many apps you want to add. Once the tweak is installed, just respring the device and then unlock your iPhone. Alright guys, as you can see, this tweak has enabled a side app launcher icon for me. You can customize the number of apps per page. This is really cool guys. You can also install a lot of cool themes to customize your iDevice, like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you face any issue, just comment below and I will help you with it. However, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel first. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Till then, peace out.